going on everybody it's your boy dr shoes back at it for another holder cell today we got the air jordan 3 cool grace fresh off the live cop hopefully you guys caught that out there was able to hit a size 11 uh, luckily was able to secure my pair from wss i did have to work this morning um, they did let me get in early before they open so shouts out to them really did appreciate that uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to pick up this pair, but I did, so I'm glad I have it for the review for you guys. If you are new to the channel, we do got a giveaway coming out. Description will be down below, but let's get right into it. Oh, Jordan 3 box. Nice. Size 11, $190. Woo! It's pretty clean. Pretty clean. Uh, white laces looks like only. Let's see. Yep, only the white laces. They're nice. These are definitely nice. So question is rock, hold or sell. I'm gonna let you guys check out the shoe. Boom. Boom. Take a nice little look at it. Take a nice little look at it. You guys let me know what you think out there. Is this for you? Short and three for you? Uh tail's alright. Uh not that great actually. Huh, all right. Well, that is the shoe for you. So, I don't know. The supply was pretty high on these. Um, we were able to hit an extra pair of, on sneakers. Uh, both size 11s are going to my buddies. A lot of my buddies do wear size 11, so I always go for my own personal and shoot out the assist, so that was pretty easy. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about that out there. Is it something that you, you would rock? It's been a hot week. We hit on the silver toes. We hit on the both colorways of the Stussy Hirachis. Uh, hit on exclusive access on the Jordan 185. If you guys have been following us, you know we've been hot, which has been amazing. Uh, it's been a hot couple of weeks. Sneakers has been good to us, definitely. We don't even got them, got them, yes sir. Muddy fold, <laughs> muddy fold again. Got them, yes sir. Let me screenshot that. All right, good. Now I might not even have to worry about going to go pick up the other one. We don't even bother with the foot sites unless it's going to be a restock. Uh, sometimes we'll catch a grade school on a restock, which is nice. But on that, mostly we do our work on sneakers and reservation apps. Did get this one through WSS. Uh, WSS is always good to us. Did hit a size 7 on Chic. Was not able to pick it up because you had to pick it up from 1101 Pacific. And that was at work. So that's a loss right there. But it's all good. Uh, didn't hit any grade schools either, but let's get into a little resale prediction. All right, so I got my phone here, StockX. Um, we're going to size 11, so 243 right now is the lowest ask. Highest bid is 235. So these have not changed too much since the morning. Uh, they did shoot up to around 266 this morning, drop back down. Um, so at 190 retail, first. If you want to rock the shoe, definitely rock the shoe if you like it. It's not for me personally, so that's why I'm going to do a hold or sell. Um, this is definitely a sell for me, unless you're in it for the long term. I can see these going up over time, but it's going to be a long hold. I think at least six months to a year. For me, it's personally not worth it. That's why I've already sold both of my size 11s. I think the best thing to do is, is to sell it on drop day. Um, I say that what you want to go for is 250 to 260 is a range you hope to sell it on drop day. Um, that's in person. If you're gonna sell on the apps, it's not even worth your time, man. You're probably gonna make your money back. So if you're getting these online, by the time you get these online and people get them in hand, they're, they're gonna drip, <laughs> dip pretty low. So you definitely don't wanna be selling on the apps. You're gonna have to sell them in person. So as in most shoes, I say sell it on drop day. If you can, get rid of it, move on to the next. Um, if you're getting these online, um, still try to sell them on uh, uh, in person. Uh, you could sell them on apps, but you're probably just going to break even. Long-term hold, six months to a year. Uh, I can see these going up. They are clean. Uh, how much they're going to go up, I don't think it's super crazy, personally. 
So for me, it's not even worth it to hold. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.